Hey YouTube, what is up? And welcome back to tutorial number 35. And in this tutorial, I just want to go over the layout of your website a little bit. And I want to explain some new tags that were made for HTML5. And they just have the ability to be a lot more descriptive than normal div tags. So if you take a look at all websites, and let me just go ahead and uh, open up my YouTube page real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to go open my YouTube page, and there we go. Okay, that is my YouTube channel right there. And uh, if you just take a look at pretty much all websites uh, all over, but uh, you can include my YouTube channel, there are pretty much five different parts to your web page. Okay, so the first part that we have is the header, which is right here at the top, and that usually has like your logo, maybe your search bar, and uh, things like that. And then the next part that we have is your navigation, and that is usually underneath the header. But on YouTube, we've kind of got like uh, we have to click on our name over here, and then we get the navigation, and we can go through to our different pages. Okay. So right now I'm already on my channel, so it doesn't really matter. And then, uh, as you can see, I've actually got 297 subscribers and pretty much almost 20,000 views, which is quite exciting. <laughs> and then uh, on the side, we have sidebars. So we've got, um, this is pretty much all the people I'm subscribed to and uh, all that kind of stuff. And then we've also got a sidebar here. And in the middle, we've got our main section and if we scroll all the way down to the bottom we have our footer so those are actually our five parts to our website the header the nav the okay so let me just go the header the nav the sidebar the main section and the footer because some websites only have one sidebar they don't have two like youtube um, so that's just basically the five different tags and we can go over to our um, notepad over here and we can actually start writing a little website using those new tags. So let me go ahead and the first thing we can do is just add in uh, a header. So as you can see these are actual real tags that we can use um, because they're turning blue. So there we go. So header and inside our header usually there is um, your logo so that would be an image with your logo logo dot png and I actually don't have a logo so I'm not gonna have any image showing up alt equals um, logo image and we might as well just put a header in here too because our image isn't going to show up. So we can go h2, h2, and you can probably just write welcome to my website. Yeah, we'll leave the typos. Okay, so and then after your header you would usually have your nav so let's go ahead and create your nav um, so that's short for navigation how did I spell this wrong nav okay well yeah sorry it's supposed to be nav <laughs> thinking navigation type nav okay so there we go nav and um, okay so that is our nav which we ha would have our navigation in and usually your navigation is always in the form of an unordered list so we can go ahead and uh, ending ul and we'll have to put some list items in here and your nav usually has links to all the other pages on your website so we can go ahead and add in some links uh, href equals and for now if I just put in hash if we click on our link it's not going to take us anywhere so uh, the first page is usually always your home page and pretty much every website has uh, an about page and then a contact page cool so that is our nav pretty much done 
and inside of our nav we can have our main section so that'll be in our section tags but I'm actually not going to go over main section just yet because there's actually a lot of stuff that can actually be put into our main section so um, I'm going to save that for the next tutorial so we can just go ahead and make a comment over here uh, next tutorial and then we can have our sidebar so that would be like pretty much the bar on the side of our section and the element for that is called a side so a side and a side cool and in your sidebar a lot of websites would use this just for like um, news or like recent events so you could probably just go ahead here and add in a header and say recent news and could probably put a paragraph in here with some news so uh, hmm you know what I actually can't think of any news at the moment so I might as well just say add me on Twitter at Quinton Watt cool so you guys can go ahead and add me on Twitter and uh, after that we'll have our footer so you know our footer is the basically the last part of the website all the way down over here and that usually con uh, contains links to all sorts of things but in some websites you'll see when they don't have as many pages as YouTube does they just have a copyright in their footer so let's just go ahead and add in our footer and uh, ending footer and inside the footer we usually have like um, a copyright so to make the copyright symbol you go and copy and uh, that makes the copyright symbol and you can just say wow well, copyright uh, Quinton what dot com I guess okay so we can go ahead and save this and we can actually go ahead and run this in Firefox now so uh, run in Firefox and there we go we actually have like a little mini web page um, so you can see my logo doesn't show up because I don't have one yet and then there's the title to my web page which is all actually inside our header as you saw in that code so that's our header and underneath that we had our navigation which was links to other pages on our website which are actually fake because they're not on our website and then we had our sidebar and uh, as you can see our sidebar is now not on the side it's actually underneath everything and then we've got our footer lost at the bottom over there okay so these new elements don't actually change anything on the layout of our website just yet we actually still have to use style rules to change the layout those these new elements are actually just there to be more descriptive than an a uh, a div tag so old websites before html5 used to have to use a div tag for every single one of these sections and it kind of got a little bit confusing because you were sitting there like okay well this is a div and this is a div and this is a div but what do they all do so now you've at least got more descriptive um, tags that you can use uh, for your website so that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this tutorial and uh, we'll pretty much move on with this code in the next tutorial and I'll explain um, what to do in this section and then we'll start styling the website a little bit later so that's pretty much what you guys have got to get excited for and uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next next time don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and if you found this video helpful then please go ahead and click like because it's really gonna help my channel grow so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time